Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Leah and I run this YouTube channel. <laughs> I've been on the internet for a while now, about 2013 I think I started, so 10 years I've had this channel and it's come in many different guises. However, uh, as you may know, if you're watching me now, I have changed into sort of planning arts, that sort of video, and very much top down, which I really love. I love doing it. I get to create more content that way. Anyway, today, as you can see from the title, we are we are going to be setting up my new um, aspirational journal. You might be thinking, but you've got one. Well, I have, but it's nearly finished. So this is my current aspirational journal. You can see it's quite chunky now. Um, this is my scribble and dot journal. It's 160 GSM each page. There's 160 pages. You get a contents page um, and uh, like a key page. So um, I started this at the end of January and I've nearly finished it now. We're coming up to the end of April. I'll have a few pages, but what I've decided to do is just fill those with other bits and pieces rather than start May in here because it's just not going to be easy to to do that, go from one to the other. So I'm just gonna do it that way. So the journal I'm going to use is a Mindful Giraffe journal. They had a closing down sale recently and these journals went to half price basically and they were 20, they were 10 pounds each, which is amazing. They are dot journal, they don't have a contents page and I actually like that because it's like a continuation. I can use my contents page for in my current journal to say it's in this book. They lay flat really nicely, similar to the one that I've just had. Um, and the pages have quite a faint dot, similar to what I've just had. Um, these are not numbered though, unfortunately. So um, I will be putting tabs in. So this is probably going to be May, June, July, and possibly August because it's a summer holiday. So I think this will be a four monther. Um, I do find in these months, we do do a lot, but it's difficult to then keep track because the kids are off on holiday for quite a lot of it. Um, so I wanted to set this up for May. Uh, I'm going to just decorate these front pages here. And what's really nice is it goes straight into the um, the page, the first page. So what I do normally on my first page for the month is I put a bit of a vision board Um I print it out from Canva and I stick it on and I'll probably do the same when it gets to May. Um, but for now, I think we'll just set up the front pages, which is essentially just doing a little bit of journaling um, and just junk, like creative journaling. So I'm just going to I use stickers that I don't use a lot, um, sticking what I like and things that I just want to use up. So that's been a really nice journey for me. I've, I'm enjoying doing all of this. So let me talk a little, while I'm doing this, let me talk a little bit about what this journal represents. So what I wanted, um, I was watching a video, uh, a live video, Cherry Healy and Not So Smug Now. Um, I'll link their Instagrams actually, because it was an Instagram live. I was watching their video and they were talking about daily planning, daily journaling, and that they always do daily writing whether that be gratitude or um whatever it is whether it's guided planning uh, guided journaling which um some people prefer to use and they were talking about that in the sense that they find it really therapeutic to take 10 minutes out of their day to create to get their thoughts down and actually it really helps them to frame their days Let me just move this over a bit there we go um so i had to think about it and i was like you know i really I, I really wanted to get into bullet journaling but i just i couldn't get into it it just didn't feel right i couldn't get my head around it it wasn't flowing for me so i decided to buy a bullet journal because I do like them and I thought I would um, try and capture the things that I wanted rather than trying to do um, like a, a, a bullet journal style. Um, I knew I wanted to have positive intentions 
um, and talk about what I wanted to do for the weeks. I knew that I wanted to have a place where I could practice gratitude because the one thing that I did do in my bullet journals was I, I practiced gratitude on a regular basis and that's the thing that stuck. Um, I, I knew that I wanted, there were so many things I wanted to do. This is proud sticker addict and it's not a, a sticker. <laughs> um, I knew that I wanted to, what else did I want to do? There was, um, I wanted to maybe manifest and, and think about the future a bit more because I just don't very often. Um, or I never did anyway. I don't know why that is. It's a bit odd, isn't it, really, not to think about the future. I think with my mum passing away, I really struggled with thinking about the future, actually. Um, my mum, my grandma, they both passed away um, in the last few years. And, and it really did take a toll. This is a beautiful sticker. Um, and it took its toll on my mental health. Quite a lot, actually. Um, I, I'm not. Sad, I'm not um, scared to admit that I still am struggling. Like I'm finding it still so hard to come to terms with my mum's passing. Uh, and if anybody else is close to their mum, they may find that that's something that they feel as well. I think you know it's. Unless you've lost a parent, it's really difficult to maybe understand or comprehend how big a deal that can be. Um, yeah, it just, it really was a big deal for me. And um, I'm using this as a way to be grateful for the things that I have, not be upset by the things that I don't. So, oh, that's pretty. I'm glad I've got some more 2023 stickers. That helps me quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I, I I just wanted a nice space to to be able to to do that. That's why I started this really. Um, and I don't know, but it's just for me now. I just want it's my time. I want a space where I can be myself where I can be expressive. And I found that this journal is something that I've kept for three. This is the longest thing that I've kept doing for more than three months. And also the fact it's got me back into um, YouTube again. Like that's huge. Those That's a big deal for me. I have not been, is this a sticker? I don't think it is. Um, I've not been into YouTube for a really long time. And I've missed it. I really have missed it. Oh, there's some really good stickers in here. But they're ones that I actually want to use. <laughs> um, but I have I am feeling very... I do feel like this has given me a new lease of life. Um, and I know that sounds really bizarre. But it has really made a big impact on how I feel. And that can only be a good thing, right? Um, and I don't know whether anybody else who journals or plans finds that it's really good for their mental health. But that has been, for me, something that I will be very grateful for that I've managed to find something that's helped with my mental health because I hadn't realised how bad my mental health had got really and it, and it really did it, it got to a point that um, I was struggling so much put that one in I was just struggling so much and I do feel like now, well, I'll put that one in, I love Snoopy. Now I'm able to get my thoughts down and have that creative outlet. I know I'm waffling, sorry. Um, just to have that creative outlet. And I, I will be forever grateful for that chance. Um that chance watch uh, Instagram live that I came across 
um, because it opened my eyes to something new. So I don't know if anybody else feels that way. If you are a journaler, um, somebody who finds creating, sticking stuff down. And I know it's just stickers like here, but there is there is an art to it. There is an art to <laughs> To me, there is anyway. Um, is this a sticker? Because if it is, it's absolutely stunning. I think it is, you know. No, it's not. No, it's not right. Okay. I just really want to put stickers in. So, um, so what I'm going to set this up and I'm going to change things a bit. So I've had quite a few different iterations when it comes to my journal. Um, I've had, um, I did it a certain way and it just didn't work for me where there was a lot of writing. I did it where I did a to-do list, but that goes into my, um, everyday planner now. And I don't really want to put it into this journal anymore and then I did it in a way that um, I had a daily update but again that goes on my in my daily pages now um, and I just thought no I, I really want um, to have somewhere for gratitude and which I do and for affirmations um, and for, I love that sticker so much. That's from OK Doodle. Um, affirmations and just quite being aspirational and forward and backward looking, isn't it? Because if you're doing gratitude, there's a bit of backward looking there, isn't there? So, yeah, a bit of both. A bit, is that, how cute is that? Oh, my God, I love it. Should I put that here, over here? Just love him. No, he's going there. Um, sorry, I said um a lot here. You can tell my thought process. I get very distracted very easily. I am very much, uh, I, I have an ADHD brain. And I'm really pleased that I managed to work that out. Um, this is such a nice sticker. I don't even know where it's from. I love it though. It's really nice. So it feels like a vinyl sticker. So this journal is to represent that. And I have to say, it's been lovely to look back over. I do actually stick things in for my children. This is so nice, this sticker. Um, oh, it's beautiful. I think that might be vinyl. It feels it. But I can go there, can't it? Yeah. I think it was the best decision I've ever made for myself. And my mental health has been so much better because I've been able to take that time for myself. I'm not saying I didn't take time for myself because I did. I didn't, before I met my partner, I didn't have children. So I always had my own time. But now it's not just about my own time. It's more about... Um, It's about how I use my own time properly. Um, these are so nice, these stickers. So I love this page, it's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I'm just gonna use some little stickers from here, I think. Hello. Um, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I love him. Uh, uh, so for me, it's just my outlet. It is very much an outlet. It makes me very happy. I don't have to, you know, consider anybody else when I write this. I just write it for myself. And that's what it should be about. This one is very much a personal one, which um, I will share with my children when I'm older because there's stuff about them in there and it'd be good to reflect on. And this is going to be great to read back on. When I do read back on it, um, I think it'll be a really nice summary for the year. This is the year I get married as well. This is the year of the coronation. Like this is such a monumental time for me and the just the UK as a whole and where we live. You know, it's just one of those things where if I 
make sure I'm being um, locking things in that way. Is it lo am I locking things? Yeah, where am I? It's, um, it's a log, isn't it? If I treat this as a way to reflect in the end, so it might be forward looking in some ways, but eventually I will be reflecting, won't I? Because I'll be looking back over it. Um, oh, I really want this on here, but I don't know where. There. Um, so yeah, um, let me know if it's something that you do. Do you have a reflective journal? Is it something that you would like to do? Is it something that you've been thinking about? Did you go down the rabbit hole of bullet journaling and never really make it past the setting up stage because actually it was just a little bit too overwhelming? This definitely has helped. Like doing this has, has helped me for sure. So that is, I'm just going to leave it as that because what I do is I do add to these pages when I find stickers that I want to put in. I'm really happy with the stickers that are in there. I really love that. I'm quite happy with how that's come out. So we have this page here and this page here. Um, I think I'm going to stick in a little bit of a, I'm going to put a page in here. And what do I want to use? I might, yes, cut this down. Yeah, I think I'm going to. So this is from Paper Shire, and I really love the paper. See, this is the problem with this page, is you've got to sort of stick it. Stick it so it goes into the page there, aren't I? Let's just see how that works. So it's there. I think we'll trim off this edge though. So I need to take off um, that much. So let's trim that off. I like to stick, I love to stick things in. I don't know if anybody else is somebody who likes to tip or stick things in. Definitely do. So it was about we can always take more off. There we go. Let's take. Right. So we have an edge there. Let's just see if that is the right size. I believe it is because that wasn't bad for a first try. Right. Let me just. Oh, we've got the sticker stuff everywhere, haven't we? Oh, we're just slightly over let me just take that tiny piece off oh there we go let's just oh let's see how this goes and we can tip it in yeah that's better that is better Right, so what I need to do is tip that in. I'm just going to do the corners. That didn't work. Still didn't work. Why is this not working? There we go. That's one edge. And then... Let me just pick it, pick it up. <laughs> These corners rounder things are so good so i'm just going to put this here with some where are you we're going to put in with some nice what color should we go for let's go mm. oh, this is not a good idea i've got a cup there and i can just see myself opening those drawers and the cup hitting something and then we have a do you know what because it is spring like i'm going to use a spring like washi this one i think let's go this one this is from the inky bajinky um what's it called anniversary box so i will link that video actually in case you wanted to see that 
Right, there we go. Right. So I will trim that in a minute, but this is just going in here like so. I've got pieces of washi in places. I probably shouldn't have pieces of washi. They're just everywhere. Right, let's just trim that so that it's level. Oh, lovely. There we go. That's there. Oh, that works really well. Although now it doesn't seem to fit. That's so weird. Anyway, we are where we are with that. I'm going to... I may, I may not stick it down, actually. I might just leave it as it is. Put some more washi there. And then put something else in there. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that. What did I just do that? There it is, the washi. There we go. So pretty, isn't it? Okay, let's trim you off there and you. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Hello, hello, May. Um, I'm going to put in something to cover that back. I think. Do I stick it down? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to stick it down. What do we think? I feel like if I stick it down, we're going to have issues. I think I'll put a bit of vellum in there. And the vellum I'm going to choose is from the Rebel Ink Co. subscription. Could I just put it in as like this? Could I? Might. Right. This vellum is so nice. I'll just stick that down. I don't know actually. I may put another card in there in a bit. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. For now because I will be sticking my vision board in here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, because I want this like this, I want it so that it's like pretty. Um, and then, after I do my vision board, because it is actually the start of the week, I will be doing my positive intentions and a quote for the week. So let's put that in. So every week on a Monday, well, Sunday night, Monday morning, I do my positive intentions um, and I like to just list out what it is that I intend for that week. Um, so let's get a nice summary pen. Go with this one, this looks nice. And we will put our positive intentions. Positive. I have to make sure I've actually spelt it right because I'm terrible. In ten. In ten. Sean. <laughs> there we go. Positive intentions. Um. And then we will put a couple in. So let's do one there. I think we'll have one there. Um, and one here. There we go. There's our intentions. That's where they're going to go. Um, my handwriting's never straight. I don't know why. It just isn't. I can't get it straight. I really like the colour of this pen. This uh, Coralie type thing going on. 
very nice. Let's just outline this. Um, what was I going to say? So yeah, I do it every week because it hopefully it put, points me in the right direction. <laughs> so far, I've put low spend on every single positive intention and I have not done that. So I sort of need to do that. And it is a positive intention. I just haven't done it. But I feel like if I write it, it will happen. Like, it's a bit like my mantras, really. So these are my positive intentions for the week. Um, but it doesn't mean that my mantras are the same. So what my mantras are is sort of a an update to myself allowing me to know that things are going to be okay and I'm capable of doing things and I have enough time so I just write that in my positive uh, in my sort of affirmations I guess it is isn't it um I just write that because I don't feel that it will be harmful to do that like I feel like it's giving me um a space to do what I need to do. Right, so positive intentions. So we're gonna have three. Um, we are going to use a black pen to write the numbers. So we're gonna have one, two, three. So we'll go with always. Gratitude daily. Two, we are going to be mindful of spend. And three, we are going to create healthy, sustainable habits. So taking my vitamins daily has been something that's been helping me so much. Um, and I'm not on any medication. My health is more or less okay. Um, there's things that I could do. I'm, I'm overweight and I could lose weight to help myself be in the best possible shape. But I don't try to stress myself out with that because I can become very overwhelmed with weight loss. So what I'm trying to do is create healthy habits. So um taking my vitamins, walking daily. And do you know what? I've managed to do that every single day. Um, and I haven't set a target for things, but just doing it. Um, I want to drink more water. That's something that I really want to do, or fluids as a whole. So again, that's a positive intention and it's a healthy habit that I want to introduce. Then we have a quote of the day. So normally I would write the quote or I would pick a quote or I would use something that is, um, yeah, I would just pick one or, or if I've got a sticker with a quote on, I might use that. So I'm just going to have a look and see if there are any stickers with any quotes on, but I'm pretty sure I don't have anything. Oh, hold on. That's quite cute. I might use that actually. Oh, I just realised that was completely out of shot. Anyway, um, so I don't know how much of that you saw, but just so you know, there you go. That's what it says. That's what it says. Oh, how annoying! It's because I tip things this way to write. Okay, so um, I am going to stick this in. I think this is really nice. I got this from Moonlit Journaling. 
These things never last. Never use it on tissue style paper either. Always use a print stick because I learned that that will just ruin everything. Right, so put this in the bottom corner. I may even just find some florally type stickers because then that will back up what I'm trying to say. Let's find some flowers. Here we go. Got some flowers here. Find another one. I've got another flower anywhere. That'd be that's actually not a bad idea. I don't know why. I think, oh, these are so cute. Okay. Oh, can't get the sticker off. These are from Shein, these ones, they're amazing. There we go, and let's draw on some, some leaves onto these flowers. There's a green, some stalks and some leaves. There we go, so that's that. Um, and then and then maybe a there we go. Not the best artist, but that's not the point. Don't need to be. There we go. I think that's quite cute. It's just um Okay, and then we'll put some grass. These are so lovely, these pens, these Tombows. I was not ready to bite the bullet with these, but I am glad that I did. There you go, got a little flower patch and slow down and smell the flowers. I think that's a very cute little quote. I am going to put some what's this called? Washi just here. There we go. I'm too scared to not put some washi down as much as it's stuck in. Is it really stuck in? Right, there you go. Happy with that. So that's it. And then when it comes to the 1st of May, I will start writing those in. The only other thing I need to do is do my vision board. And um, I may do it like, um, I'm not ready yet. I'm not, I haven't thought about it. So I don't want to put it in and it not be thought about. So that is my current setup of my journal. I'm really chuffed with it, if I'm honest. Um... I know that, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think that's why I love it so much because I've made it so that I can be as creative as I want. Nobody's going to judge me because this is mine and mine only. It doesn't have to be functional. It just has to be, you know, sort of creative. Um, and that's it. That's all I need it for. I need it for me to be able to log those things. So I'm really looking forward to that. If you want to see any journals with me, I will do that. I do sometimes do it. I don't often. Uh, you'll have a flip through very soon of my journal. Thank you so, so much for coming by. I know I waffle a lot. I'm really sorry. But I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Please subscribe if it's a channel that you enjoy. Um, I promise you the content will get better, hopefully. Uh, and if there's anything that you want to see, let me know. Uh, and I guess that's the end of the video. Thanks for coming by. See you later. Bye, guys.